Hello, I am Pastor Brad Doty coming to you with our daily devotion, A Walk Through Holy Week, for Thursday, March 18th. Our theme for today is Judas's Betrayal. And I have a number of different sections of reading uh, from the Gospel of Matthew. And we'll start in the 26th chapter at verse 14. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him, Jesus, over to you? So they counted out for him 30 pieces of silver. From then on, Judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over. And starting at verse 47 in chapter 26. When he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. This is when they're in the garden after the Passover meal. So with him was a large crowd, armed with soul, swords and clubs, sent from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus replied, Do what you came for, friend. Then the man stepped forward, seized Judas, and arrested him. In chapter 27, starting at verse 1. Early in the morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people made their plans uh, how to have Jesus executed. So they bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, who had uh, betrayed him, saw that Jesus was condemned and was seized with remorse and returned the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, I have sinned, he said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. What is that to us? They replied. That's your responsibility. So Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away and hanged himself. The chief priest picked up the coins and said, It is against the law to put this into the treasury, since... It is bloody money. So they decided to use the money to buy the potter's field as a burial place for foreigners. That is why it is called, uh, has been called the field of blood to this day. Then what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. They took the 30 pieces of silver the price set on him by the people of Israel, and they used them to buy the potter's field, as the Lord commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Judas takes the opportunity to betray Jesus. After he has the Passover meal with Jesus, as Jesus then goes to the garden, rather than going to the garden, Judas goes and betrays Jesus, bringing the people to the garden to arrest Jesus. Now Judas knew exactly what he was doing, did it with, for 30 pieces of silver, enough money to buy the potter's field. Well, afterwards, Jesus ha Judas has remorse. He feels guilty, he feels terrible for ultimately what happens to Jesus, that he is condemned, condemned to death. Judas betrayed a friend. Well, how do we betray? How have we betrayed God? There's a time for us to reflect as well and to come to the foot of the cross asking for God's mercy, for God's grace for God's forgiveness. For we do too, in sin, we turn away from God 
and we betray Jesus as well. Let us pray. Lord God, help us. Help us when we choose to turn away from you and betray you. Help us, Lord, to turn back to you. Help us to know that you still love us and care for us, that you forgive us and bless us with your grace. Lord, we thank you for your love and for your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine on us. Amen. Have a blessed day.